Hello everyone and welcome to Groovy Tech Academy. This is your host Abdul Majid Mangrio. And today we are going to learn how to transform JSON payload to CSV and write it to a file in Mule 4. So let's get started. Let's create a Mule project and let's name it like uh, JSON to CSV. Leave everything as a default, press finish. Okay, so uh, here is our basic uh, startup where we are going to uh, work on this task. So uh, first we will need HTTP listener. And for this, uh, we need to create the configurations. And the default configurations are like 8081 port and everything. So we have to leave everything as a default, press enter. For further tutorials about this HTTP listener, you can further view my uh, YouTube channel where you can see how to create a or expose a service. Okay, so let's name it like uh, JSON to CSV. So this will be our endpoint. Then, uh, just to print, we need a logger entered into um, JSON to CSV. Okay, so then uh, we need a transformation message where we need our JSON payload. So I already have this, so I'm just going to copy paste that spite of writing that. So th these are the records and uh, the output file extension the type will be like uh, application JSON. So what this transformation is going to do is like, uh, it's going to transform this payload into a JSON format. Okay. So uh, the next step will be, we will create another transformation. And over here, we are just going to call this payload and the output format will be. So over here, uh, we can see certain types of output formats like uh, uh, DW, flat file, Java, JSON, etc. So currently we need CSV format. So let's save it and let's try to run it. So uh, what here, what we did is like, we expose the service like by HTTP listener and we, we printed a message and then um, we said a JSON payload, which is supposed to be uh, transformed to um, CSV format. And then on the next uh, transformation, we have set the output format to CSV. Let's wait for it to be deployed. Okay, so our application is deployed. Let's clear the logs. So uh, we're going to invoke this HTTP uh, listener. So we will use uh, uh, Postman service over here. Uh, what was the endpoint name? So on to CSV. So as we left everything as a default, like 8080, one port and uh, we are using this local host and the type will be get get so let's try to invoke it great so here's the output like we have our data in a comma separated format csv so this is the same uh, data we just uh, put in the json um, payload so let's go to the mule studio like uh, over here this was our payload, which was uh, uh, which was a JSON payload. Then it has been tra uh, transformed to CSV. So currently we have our output, our data converted to CSV format. So you can use it further in uh, anywhere 
like as we have uh, this uh, csv payload uh, stored in our payload uh, furthermore you can also write it to a file like for instance go to file uh, write file drag and drop it and let me i have a location okay so here uh, we are going to create the configuration for this so we are just going to create it and leave everything as blank like the default one default settings press in okay so over here uh, it requires the path like where the file should be created so i'm going to create it in d we also for and the name of the file will be transform json to csv and the content will be the payload so currently the payload is what we have just transformed which is a csv data let's save it uh let's wait for it to be deployed okay so this uh, api is updated let's try to hit it again okay and uh, uh, here's the file location currently we don't have any file created over here let's try to invoke the service again send okay the uh, service is invoked okay so we have our uh, file created in our directory which was d microsoft uh, microsoft word okay here's the directory so we have our file created let's try to open it great so we have our data written to a file so folks uh, this was all about it so what we did is like uh, we transform our json payload uh, to csv and then we write it to a file So that was all for today please subscribe and like my channel thank you so much